All right, everyone. Welcome once more to another webcast of Alexandra Mayers Live. It is I, your hostess, once more, Alexandra. I hope everyone's having a um, pretty nice start to their week. I had a very nice day today. And um, a little bit later on, I will put in the Google Hangout link on the Christian Porn Star Twitter for anyone who wants to pop in and say hello. Well, last week on Friday, I did leave you guys with um, the fact that I want to discuss Ivanka Trump, Ivana Trump, and Donald, and the reality that Donald does utilize Ivanka as a sort of human shield against his greatest enemy, the one person on this planet who could take him down simply with the power of her voice. And yes, I'm talking about Ivana Trump. Because a lot of people, you, you know, I've noticed in the media, a, a lot of people are like, oh, how do we handle this Ivanka Trump phenomenon? We know that she's not really a feminist. We, we know that she, she's definitely a bit disingenuous in regards to many of the issues that she claims to care about but how do you tackle this sort of situation because realistically she is an innocent party in an extremely dangerous situation and volatile situation she was born into it i can't say that she was innocent but she was born into this situation. It's not like she ever volunteered to be in it. And um, truthfully, she's trapped in the situation. But to the powers that be out there who have been trying to figure out, you know, how do we deal with this fraud, this problem known as Donald? Someone has got to assemble a team of the absolute best psychologists and social engineers imaginable just hear me out on this one and someone has got to come up with a plan as to how to psychologically wake up ivanka trump to see that she's being utilized as a human shield by her father. She doesn't see it, not in my opinion. She, and if she does, she doesn't want to, because if she ever were to accept the reality of what her life is, uh, it wouldn't be good. There would have to be a team standing by just to catch her as she falls, as she ejects herself out of the matrix that is her life because re really she could be the neo in feminine form <laughs> that's required to um get this mission accomplished but yes um she's the only one who is protecting him ivana trump his first wife the only reason, from my perspective at least, that she ever recanted what she said in her book in regards to feeling violated and raped by her ex-husband is because likely Donald threatened her children. And it's not just Ivanka that he threatened. I think that he threatened his other two sons with her also. But Ivanka would be the ultimate shield for him you know i mean what mother would want to destroy her daughter's life by having to consciously publicly um forcefully sever the bond i don't think ivana wants to do it i think ivana has kind of figured well I think first she figured she wouldn't live long enough to see this day ever occur. <laughs> okay, I think that's the first part. But I also think that now it's just gone so far to where I think she is thinking about doing what she needs to do, but she really, I don't think, wants to hurt her daughter, especially being that her daughter is a mother now herself. But I think it's possible if the powers that be are thinking along the lines that I am, 
just a symbol of the, a team of the top social engineers and psychologists and sociologists and um, I, I don't know, maybe even some, throw some telepaths in there and somehow infiltrate that area of the matrix where Ivanka resides, you know, do your thing. She'd have to be willing to eject herself. I think she'd, I think she's going to, I think it's going to get to the point to where something is going to go completely completely wrong with Trump's affiliation with um, all these white nationalists and white supremacists to where it's going to be so or such an open attack against her husband who as we all know is Jewish because Donald can't stop talking about it <laughs> that's another one of his human shields and you know that's going to end up being a problem but um i think ivanka is going to i think the day is going to come very soon to where ivanka is going to have to choose between her husband or her father and i think the moment that donald sees her even thinking about hmm maybe i should pick my husband he is going to do something that knocks her loose from the matrix to where she finds that red eject button without even opening her eyes pushes it and then we'll see the real battle because this is not really about you, you know on the surface what's happening politically you think to yourself oh it's republicans versus the democrats then you think oh it's white versus black oh it's christian versus muslim then you look a little deeper and you're like whoa it's men versus women oh it's patriarchy versus matriarchy but you know what it really is getting to where it's coming down to to where it's father versus daughter In the political support sphere, that theme is already rising to the surface. You have a lot of women who were Hillary supporters who really needed to see a woman as president who believed that it wasn't even a question as to whether a woman could be president but who got slapped into submission by not only their male peers, but in some cases, their own fathers. So that theme, it's, it's coming up to the surface, but it's gonna manifest very, very shortly within that White House. And that is going to be epic. You know how uh, in the United States we got that show, The Royals? You just watch. Next year in the UK, they're going to have the drums. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and uh, tweet that Google Hangout link for anyone who might want to join into the madness and the mayhem. The madness and the mayhem that is Alexandra Mayer's live. There he is. Hey, Adam. I put that Google Hangout just for you. I knew you were out there. How you doing? I'm good. How about you tonight? I'm good. I'm good. I don't have my video on. I just have my audio today. So I hope you don't mind. But it's good to see you. Good to what's see new, you. Too. What's new with you? I, it's been a pretty, pretty great month. I had a great Valentine's Day and went to the Chicago Auto Show. Oh, how was that? It was great. 